Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, I wanted to do a kind of like chit chat, get ready with me. Like I'm gonna be doing my makeup, just something quick and easy and very like holiday-y, but I'm also gonna be just kind of talking to you guys. And I feel like, yeah, I talk on Snapchat, but I don't always talk my YouTube videos as much. I don't know what else to film, you guys. I wanna like chill with you guys. Cause it's like the holiday season. Everyone's like already so hectic. That's how I'm justifying. So if you want to know exactly how I'm going to do my makeup and you kind of want to get to know me a little bit more, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to prep. I'm using just a mattifying primer. This one's the Makeup Forever one. I already did my brows because I just finished filming a Facebook Live with Ipsy. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do my makeup and then wash it off to refill my makeup. No, nah. so I like, you get brows and that's all y'all get. Oh, I'm getting a pimple. Also, you guys, my hair's purple. So I've been really contemplating as to what color to change my hair to. Like, I don't know what color I wanna do because I feel like blue has always been me. I'm just gonna color correct. This is the Becca Backlight Peach Targeted Color Corrector. I wanna change up my hair. I've had blue hair for two years. I moved to LA in September of 2015 and then October of 2015, I dyed my hair blue how I dyed my hair. I'm testing this out. I got this in PR, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Colorista Spray One Day Color for hints and highlights. This is not sponsored, but I did get this in PR for free. Purple one, there's like this rose gold one, which Alyssa Ashley used. She told me about it. So I was like, oh, I did get those. I kept a blue one and I kept a green one. So I don't know what I want to do, but hopefully this washes off. It sprays a lot of glitter. I sprayed it like around like my roots. You see how ashy they look now? Damn it. Now let's, ooh, I'm gonna use this foundation. I just got this, you guys. Well, I've had this for a while. This is what it looked like. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, which is inspired by their creamy concealer. And I've had this little nugget since the last time I went to New York with NARS. They gave me this. So I've had this secret of this amazing foundation that I can't tell anybody about. And now I can finally tell you guys. I'm obsessed with it. So I am in the color Syracuse. It looks like a shade darker right now, but they did give me like little sample ones, little baby ones. You guys, I have the Rihanna foundation and I just don't live for it. And it kind of sucks because I'm like obsessed with Rihanna, like obsessed, like an obsession. I really wanted it to like work for me. So you apply like that with this beauty blender. The level of dew. <gasps> Oh, the skin looks good. And this is with no setting. And then I went with a lighter one. This is Stramboli. And I kept that in the center just to do a very, sorry, I was burping. A very natural highlight, you guys. And now to conceal, I'm gonna use the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. These are supposed to be like sister products. This was designed with this in mind, if that makes sense. They wanted to kind of make this type of formulation and into a foundation. So that's kind of cool because usually it goes the other way. Like, does it? I don't know. So I'm gonna use this one. This one is in the color ginger. Oh my God, ginger. So I'm gonna keep it there. I never take it too high. Thanksgiving just passed as I'm filming this. So this is like the first time I'm filming since Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving was cute. The most boring thing in the entire world. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I don't like to travel during Thanksgiving. Like I don't wanna go on a plane. I don't wanna sit in traffic to go to an airport for like 45 minutes extra than what I'm used to. I hate traveling for Thanksgiving. I even told my mom, I was telling Sonic earlier. I was like, yeah, I told her, I was like, no, don't even like think I'm gonna surprise you. And he's like, sometimes people think you're gonna surprise them when you tell them, don't think you're gonna surprise them. I was like, well, sorry mom, I wasn't there. So I'm just concealing. You see how like, it's just still really radiant and like dewy. I really like this concealer foundation combo, but not, oh, hi. You wanna say hi, single neck? Come and tell us a little bit more. What did you do for Thanksgiving, single neck? Where is he? There he is. You see that? You see that? That's that's what a single person looks like. <laughs> I did find a new game that if you're like obsessed with Pokemon, it's called Pokemon Duel. This video is not sponsored. I wanna buy a Game Boy and like Pokemon games because I miss that. Like I remember like one of my first Christmas, my first Game Boy was a lime green Game Boy, like lime green. And I had a Pokemon game and I wanna say it was the gold one. Okay guys, so I just had my food delivered. I just got Panda Express. Panda, 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 Panda. And some chow mein. So this is now mukbang. Mm -hmm. This video though is sponsored by Gatorade. 
thirst quencher, feed the gator. <laughs> So I've concealed and everything. I've set everything. I just used my Laura Mercier powder just to set everything and just like cut the cheeks. Cut the check. Look at how dewy the skin still looks. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a brush that I stole from Ipsy today. This is a Morphe E49. I'm just gonna wipe some of that off. I don't like to leave it on too long there because I've noticed that if you leave it on for too long, it tends to flash back. Oh, it's still dewy. Oh my God. Okay. So for powder, I'm gonna lightly dust this over. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. So to me, this isn't a face powder, like a normal face powder, if that makes sense. But it's also not a bronzer. It has like this satin. You see how like my shirt is like this velvet and it has a shine to it. That's literally what this powder does to your skin though. So I'm not gonna apply too much because I still want the foundation to be like dewy. Earlier today, I was talking to my girlfriend and I was like, hey girl, cause you know, she's single. And I was like, hey girl, um, do family members ask you like, hey, like, do you have a boyfriend? Are you dating anyone? You know, when you're like single, I always see those memes. Whenever I go to family functions, I don't know if it's cause I'm gay or what. No, there's like two gay people in our family, but like, that's my other cousin and she's like a lesbian. So I'm like the only gay guy. No, I have a gay cousin, but nobody ever asks me like, hey Gabriel, are you dating anyone? Are you still alone? But yeah, nobody asked me. So then I was asking her, I was like, does family ask you? Cause she's also Mexican. So she's like, oh, I'm not single. Oh, I guess I'm the only single one. But then I'm like, do I want a boyfriend for the holidays? But like just for the holidays, so I don't have to be alone for the holidays. And then I'm like, I just wanna watch like Stranger Things and eat like fattening food on my new couch. And just like call it a day. Like why put myself in a relationship? I feel like that's what single people who like don't have any options tell themselves. Oh my God, I don't have options. I've been so focused, you guys. Maybe I should do like a full video of talking about like my dating experience, my dating life and how it's like non-existent right now. Somewhere around here, there's gonna be a little thing that pops up if you're watching this on a desktop and you can vote yes or no if I should do a video like that. But, okay, so now I'm gonna grab some blush. I don't want, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. So for Christmas, what am I doing for Christmas? Not much. Last year, I went back home for Christmas because I finally had enough money to go back home at Christmas because the year before I didn't have any money, so I was like So then my family told me that they're going to Mexico. I don't go to Mexico. I just don't want to go to the parts that they go to Mexico. If I go to Mexico, I want to go to like a really fun part with like a nightlife and like a gay area. My parents and my three siblings, so all five of them are going to Mexico for Christmas and New Year's. That's kind of rude. They invited me though, so I told them no. So, I mean, it's not that rude. I wonder what I'm gonna do. Okay, you guys, so I bronzed the skin, made it real like a light bronze, just real like pretty. I'm actually living for how the skin turned out today. This foundation is goddamn everything. So now to keep it within the NARS family, I just got this palette as well, you guys. Look, I haven't used it. I literally only swatched one color. But I wanna use this color right here, which is like a camel -y color. And I'm just gonna like, Lightly place over the eye. It's like a lavender shift to it. Do you see that? I'm gonna go into my Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Grab Bomb Diggity right there, that kind of like camely brown color. I'm kind of like recreating the look I did for the Too Faced party. Also you guys, Christmas decorations are like really expensive. I've never had to like buy my own Christmas decorations for my place. Last year I didn't really decorate. And then this year I was like so bored for Thanksgiving. So I was like, oh, let me go to Target and buy Christmas stuff, right? So my friend was like, you should have gone to TJ Maxx because I spent way too much money and I feel like I got nothing. Like it kind of made me sad. I like unpacked everything and I placed it all over my apartment and I was like, where the fuck is all my shit? Oh, that's such a pretty brown, you guys. Like, I'm gonna grab that powder and just put it on my lower lash line. If you do your lower lash line and you're gonna keep it with a very earth tone, kind of neutral colors. So if you're doing like a burgundy or a red, this might not fully apply to that eye look. But if you are doing like a bronzier look, try not to carry it past the middle of your eye and it'll really just open up the eye, if that makes sense. Because sometimes like adding like that lower lash line color sometimes can close off the eye. If I just keep it right there, that's the farthest I'll go. Really just elongates it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into this NARS palette. Just my finger, you guys, and I'm gonna grab this top kind of like champagne shimmery color. Dragging my finger over the lid. You see how it has that like sheen to the eye now? 
It almost gives it like a glaze in a sense. Okay, and now for my favorite part, I'm gonna be grabbing this heavy metal Urban Decay glitter liner in Midnight Cowboy. So I used this, you guys, on a previous video, just like a first impressions video, and I've been obsessed with this gold one. And imagine for like the holidays how pretty this is. And there was like a red one, there was like so many different colors, and I'm just like, this is so pretty. Do you already know what y'all are gonna wear for New Year's? I feel like that's always like the hardest one. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm not mad at this. Living for it. I never curl my lashes unless I'm like doing a no eyelash look. Should I do lashes? Yeah, I guess I should. So for mascara, I'm just gonna use my NARS mascara. Oh, this mascara is good. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna grab my Lily Lashes in the style Goddess. I was really trying to get away with you guys not putting on lashes. Literally, this is what I do. Whenever I'm like, should I wear lashes, should I not? I grab a used pair of lashes that I've already used, right, that I love. Because there's still lash glue on it, I just place it on and I'm like, lashes or no lashes? Lashes. And then also, cause Sonic was like, it looks better that you have lashes. <laughs> so I'm like, so let's put on some lash glue. I wanna go watch Justice League, you guys. The new one with like Batman and Wonder Woman. Am I allowed to tell you what happens? I mean, by the time this goes up, it's been out for like two weeks. You should have seen it by now, that's not my fault. No, it's cause there's this one character that I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about. Whatever, they bring back Superman. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I liked the movie, but Ben Affleck just gets on my nerves. Like, is that a bad thing to say out loud? Like Ben Affleck just gets on my nerves. I don't know what it is about him. The whole movie was about him. And I'm like, you don't even have superpowers. Like I couldn't even watch the Batman versus Superman one. Like I was just like, this is dumb. Like you can't beat Superman. Oh, the lashes look so good. Okay. So now let's dust off this powder. You guys. Okay, now for lips, you guys. So I did this combo the other day. Where's my Gabriel Zamora lipstick? <laughs> Do I have it? This is the Taraji P. Henson one. This is Strip Me Down in a Matte Lipstick. It came with hair collection. And then I'm gonna grab this little nugget. This one is definitely by Taraji P. Henson because it has her signature all over it. This is a lip glass and it's like this bronze gold color. To me, the best lip gloss ever created is Lip Gloss by MAC. And the fact that they do it in so many different colors and everything, that formula, that wet lip look, every time I do this, I've only done this once. <laughs> no, I did it twice. I wore it to the Too Faced party and then I wore it during this photo. So you see how like the lips look like I have like this like divot, this keyhole effect? That's what it does. And Nikita was like, did you do that keyhole? lip filler trick. It's really like graphic. So you can get that look with lip filler, but what you do is you bite on a piece of string and you pull down while they inject the sides. Isn't that weird? Okay, so we're gonna highlight with some Fenty Beauty, you guys. So it's two, it's Heavy Moon and Hustla Baby. So I'm just gonna grab a giant fluffy brush. This is a M501 by Morphe. And I'm just gonna go into Hustla Baby, which is the more like shifty one. Lightly dust. I actually like this one more than I like Trophy Wife. I actually don't like Trophy Wife on a regular basis, if that makes sense. Like for a shoot, oh amazing. For editorial stuff, everything. For going to the grocery store, it's a little much. It's a little much. Do you see that? This is a very natural look. Oh, maybe I can blend this out like that. Oh, that's pretty. This is actually a really cool brush. I'm a bit of a cast. So I've learned this kind of like new trick on how to like cancel that cast, you guys. Grab a very like deep type of highlighter. So this one is the Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown. And I used to do this underneath my lighter highlights. I had stopped doing it and I've noticed that a lot of my highlights tend to have this great cast. So what I do is I grab some of that and now I just place it over it. Just to dilute some of that grayness. You see that there? And then you just... Perfect. Now let's snatch the nose. I didn't bring my nose highlighting brush. Wow. So this is just a BH Cosmetics brush number 11. Make the line super, super thin. Okay, you guys, let me set my face and then I'll be right back. 
Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you. No, I already did the intro. Why? Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. This is what my face looks like. I'm actually really obsessed with this look. Like, this is like the look that I always do. All I added was fucking glitter liner onto my eye, and now it's a holiday look. <laughs> so it's that easy to create a holiday look, you guys. Those damn little highlighter things are everything. But I just wanted to do my makeup and make it very glowy, very dewy, and also just say like, chat with you guys. Like, I haven't talked to you guys in like a good, in a good while. If you like this video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comment section down below. And if you're not already, Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Down, down below, right? Subscribe channel, somewhere down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, you guys. And until next time, bye everyone! Bye everyone! Bye everyone. Bye everyone. <gasps> bye everyone. The skin looks good, I'm not even mad at it. I'm just like, it looks good. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye everyone. Cut the f camera. <laughs>